guys, I'm Lady Yoga, and this is Yoga Quickies, where you tell us what you need to know about your yoga or fitness practice, and we deliver to you in five minutes or less. I'm here with my friend Dejour. Hi, Dejour. Hi there. Um, we met at Uprising Yoga, which brings yoga to at-risk youth in low-income areas within the Los Angeles area, as well as Juvenile Hall and the prison systems. We were fortunate enough to work together a few yes. years ago. It's a wonderful, wonderful program. Um, she also works for Yoga Go and Delta Airlines. Yes. Oh my. And she, her whole mission is about making yoga accessible. So tell me a little bit about that. So I try to um, teach classes that are accessible for any body type, any age group, any experience or lack of experience level as far as yoga goes, just to make yoga a welcoming practice that can heal any and everyone. Yeah, you know, I think yoga has changed a lot in the, the 15 years that I've been teaching yes. where it's become it's become so kitschy. You know, like you feel like you have to, sometimes I feel this way. I'm in a class and I'm like, oh my God, those pants are so cute. I don't have those pants. And I'm like, I don't look that cute in the top. And I'm like getting stuff from Target. And, you know, everybody's definitely wearing like fancy stuff. So it's become more of a lifestyle that can sometimes be intimidating for someone that's not used to practicing. So making sure that people know that, you know, you don't have to be like super fancy looking. And also, I mean, we, we did a video, uh, a yoga quickies video about myths because a lot of people were asking like, I, I want to do yoga, but I can't because of this, that, and this. So we were debunking all of those um, yoga myths. And one of those things was I'm like, fle not flexible enough. I'm not fit enough. I'm not thin enough or whatever. And really too old you, or too old. too old. No, you're never too no. old to do yoga. No. Never. Ever. Ever. I keep telling my mother. Yes. She'll be in the grave before she does. <laughs> She's like downward facing <laughs> in the grass. Love you, Ma. Anyway, so this is actually uh, a shout out to our friend Jill. She just worked really hard in a training that we took part in last week. I did. And hi. <laughs> and this is about self care. So if you're one of those people that works really, really hard and doesn't have time to get on the mat, this is a wonderful five minute or less practice that you can do that's really just about opening detoxifying, savoring your energy, saving your energy, and releasing anything that you don't need. So this one goes out to you, Jill, and we're gonna actually start with a heart opener. So if you guys have, uh, oh, actually, we need to set the clock. We'll oh, put five clock. minutes on the clock. Yay, bing. Okay, <laughs> so you're gonna take a bolster, any kind of bolster that you can get. It's kind of big, kind of thick. You can get it from Amazon, which is where I get like everything. And place it about a fist distance between your tush and your spine. You don't have a yoga bolster, don't worry. You can use um, a pillow from home and just place it along the spine and allow yourself to fold back onto it. And you can either open up your arms sort of like a T or just kind of cactus it out, you know, being mindful of the things that are in your studio apartment. You know, make sure that you have enough space. But honestly, even for, I remember doing a video for small spaces, living in New York City, where you could literally reach for the kitchen and also take a dump. Um, <laughs> Anyhow, this is a beautiful place to open up through the chest and the shoulders. If you're on the road for a long period of time, mm -hmm. you deal with lots of toxic people. Me. You know who you are. Me. This is a wonderful place. <laughs> or like people on the airplane that are just like, excuse me, excuse me, can you get yeah. me another Bloody Mary? No. No. <gasps> Right away. Six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so you can stay here. If you can, just stay here for a minute if you don't have a lot of time. Otherwise, you can stay here for like a freaking hour. Am I right or am I right? You're right. You're yes. always right. Come on up. I would say if you have any tension in the low back, just roll off and come on up. That's okay, girl. And then we're going to come into, for every beautiful heart opener, we have a forward fold. So you're going to open up your knees wide, sort of like you're on a stra uh, straddle. You're like straddling a horse or something else. And make, what? <laughs> You're going to place it again, have a little bit of distance between your bolster and uh, your body, and then you fold over. Now she's just choosing the option to turn her head to one side. If you feel more comfortable to have, you know, your neck longer, you can either roll up a blanket or a towel and place it right underneath the forehead. You can place your like iPhone 6 underneath, <laughs> keep your neck nice and long, watch TV program, make sure your eyesight's good though, because that's awfully close. Mm -hmm. And you can turn your forehead from side to side if that feels good. It, it's a nice little twist for the neck. It's not so bad for you. You can also use blocks if you have them. Just place it at the forehead if it's a comfortable thing. Sometimes it's not the most comfy. And then if you have any issues with your knees, say you have um, a torn meniscus or surgery or ACL or LCL issues, you may be able to take that bolster, bring it in between the thighs, that's the top leg, 
and the bottom leg, your calf muscle, and just sit right up on it. And then you can take your blocks and prop them up or use other pillows within the house. Right? And you can take it any height. So she's pretty flexible. So she can take just two blocks stacked. She could stay there for an hour and then like drop another block. I drop it like a top. <laughs> yeah, and then you can stay here for another minute. That's your quickie, right? Otherwise, you can stay here as long as feels comfortable for you. And for every wonderful forward fold where you kind of seal your energy in for, for freshness, you'll come into a twist. So you take that same bolster and just, yeah, beautiful. You'll take that bolster, the short skinny side right next to your hip, take the palms and frame that bolster and just kind of turn so that your heart is facing over that bolster and then you'll fold forward. Again, forehead or you can take cheek side to side. I do like the cheek side to side action. The legs can kind of do whatever they want. They can kind of just fling off to the side. It's a nice little stretch for your QL, your quadratus lumborum, or just your side waist, even your hip as well. It's kind of yummy. And then you'll come on up and then you'll just switch sides. You want to take deep, long breaths here. So don't worry about yogic breathing per se, but just deep breaths in and out through the nose. If you're doing any of these postures in yoga and you're not breathing, you're not really doing yoga. There's no point. You know, the deeper the breath, the deeper the stretch, the deeper you can get inside yourself and really let go of all that crap that drives you crazy. You know what I mean? What drives you crazy, du jour? Um... Um, Come on up. Not being where I'm supposed to be mm. at work. I understand. <laughs> mm -hmm. Responsibility. And then the last one is a nice yummy pose where it's opening but it's also releasing. You could do this at the end of the day. I love this at the end of the day. You could take a blanket or just lay down onto your back. You'll take the side hip to a chair and make sure you have a little pillow on the chair. You can use your coffee table. I have a nice low bed so you can kind of let your legs hang off the bed and you want this sorry hon you want this right underneath your wingspan so right underneath for the ladies it'll be like right under where the lowest part of your bra strap is and uh, for the gentlemen it's where your lats are right <laughs> and you can cactus out or you can tee it out right like airplane wings airplane. Ah, our flight attendant and yeah. you can stay here stay here for a minute stay here for five minutes as long as you need to feel that kind of release Oh, she's never getting up. Not moving. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, du jour. This is delightful. So that's it. Five minutes. And we still have time on the clock. You can do this in five minutes or less. Get everything that you need. And, you know, if you have more than five minutes, try to do a little bit more if you can. It's really good for you. So on behalf of my friend du jour, I'm Lady Yoga. Thank you so much for joining Yoga Quickies. Thank you. Please subscribe below. Find out more about du jour and her um, wonderful events coming up soon right below here. Subscribe and then you can tell us what you need to know and we'll deliver it to you in five minutes or less. Thank you so much. Thank Namaste. You.